This video covers an AFK way to train melee and ranged efficiently at Nightmare Zone. I will be using prayer potions instead of absorption potions to make the method more AFK and less likely to be screwed up. To go to Nightmare Zone, use a minigame teleport. Make sure you have put some coins into the coffer to be able to enter. An entry for the hard custom mode costs you 26k. If you have the maximum amount of quest points, just like I do, you will have the cost reduced to 16k for hard mode. It's a safe minigame, so if you would die or disconnect, you can just restart for another 26 or 16k coins. You can buy overloads and super ranging potions in the reward shop. I accidentally used overloads when training ranged in this video, but you should be using super ranging potions as they are cheaper and offer the same effect. Later we will look at the rewards. The monsters that I will be killing are Count Drainer, Sand Snake, King Rold, The Candle, Skeleton Hellhound, Tree Spirit, Khazard Warlord, Bouncer and that's it. The more monsters you set up, the more points you get per monster. This is just a list of monsters with low defensive stats and they are easy to train on. You can store or withdraw stored potions here if you don't want to keep them in the bank. Before we get started, this is a must if you don't want to lose XP. With Rune Light's Idle Notifier, you can set a prayer notification when your prayer points hit 10 for example. You can also do this for the special attack bar, so just put it to 100%. You'll always get a notification if your overload runs out if you have it enabled in the Nightmare Zone plugin. In order to get notifications, you shouldn't have your cursor active in Rune Light. With these plugins, this is a great way to do other stuff besides AFKing in RuneScape. Here's my first setup for melee. Full obsidian with an obby sword, primordial boots, a berserker ring imbued, barrels gloves, a dragon defender, a fire cape and a god's blessing. All item names are listed in the description of this video. When a berserker necklace is equipped, this weapon gains a 20% damage boost. It is also affected by the obsidian armor which I'm wearing, the helmet, playbody and plate legs, which will increase the melee attack and melee strength by 10%. The damage bonus does stack with the Berserker Necklace, so you'll have a 30% damage bonus. This setup costs around 45 mil, but you could easily switch the Primordial Boots with the Dragon Boots, which reduces the cost to 12 million GP. As for the inventory, I would bring 22 Prayer Potions, a Holy Wrench to regain additional Prayer Points when drinking a Prayer Pot, and 5 Overloads. If you haven't got any points to buy Overloads, use some Super Combat Potions to start off. Drinking a dose of Overload will damage you 50 HP and raise all of your combat levels for these 5 minutes. After the 5 minutes are up, the Overloads stat boosts will wear off entirely and you are healed 50 HP again. One overload is 20 minutes of stat boosts, so 5 overloads is 100 minutes that you can AFK in Nightmare Zone with this inventory. I was averaging 95k strength XP per hour and around 230k Nightmare Zone points per hour with this setup. Here's my second setup for melee. I changed a couple of things like the Nid is Not Helmet, a Fury Amulet, Torx Legs, Dragon Boots and a Dragon Scimitar. This setup costs around 6.5 million GP. I was averaging 82k strength XP per hour and around 210k nightmare zone points per hour with this setup. Here's my first setup for ranged. Full Elite Void, a Necklace of Anguish, Avis Assembler, a Toxic Blowpipe with Adamant Darts in it, a God's Blessing, Pegasian Boots and an Archer's Ring imbued. In comparison to normal Void, the set offers 12.5 more damage instead of 10% and an additional prayer bonus of plus 3 per piece for a total of 6 comes from the top and rope only. This setup costs around 65 mil. I was averaging 125k ranged XP per hour and around 370k nightmare zone points per hour with this setup. A cheaper alternative would be Blessed Dragonite Armor, together with a Fury Amulet. This setup costs around 50 million GP. I was averaging 100k range XP per hour and around 270k Nightmare Zone points per hour with this setup. To summarize this video I will go over all of the setups. The first one was the Obsidian setup, which costed around 45 million GP. The Berserker setup cost around 6.5 mil, the Void setup cost around 65 million GP and the Blessed Dragon Hide armor set was around 50 million GP. Setup number 1 got us 230k Nightmare Zone points per hour, 
With my level 82 prayer, I could pray melee for 4 minutes and 55 seconds, and I was gaining around 95k strength XP per hour. The Zerker was gaining 210k Nightmare Zone points, 5 minutes and 36 seconds to run out of prayer, and 82k strength XP. The Voider, 370k Nightmare Zone points per hour, 5 minutes and 19 seconds to run out of prayer, and 125k ranged XP. And then the last one, 390k Nightmare Zone points, 5 minutes and 36 seconds to run out of prayer, and 100k ranged XP per hour on average. Enter this week's giveaway by liking this video, being subscribed and commenting your RuneScape username down below. As always, thank you very much for watching my video and I will see you in the next one.